The twin sisters, Laura and Mara Barrow, who are taking the modeling world to a new phase and hitting the stereotypes of the model all around the world. Those two sisters who have a rare condition of albinism, who have been rejected by their biological parents after their birth immediately, and they left them to adoption. The cruel parents who never imagined that the twins would turn to the famous twins in the model world. When the mother gave birth to those twins, she screamed, and together with her husband, after knowing that their daughters are suffering from a rare condition of albinism, decided to abandon them and leave them to adoption. The twins were in the orphanage during the first year of their life. Many couples came to try to adopt them, but they rejected after seeing their state. They thought that they were sick or something because they are suffering from albinism. But actually, this condition made them even more beautiful and years later made them even famous. One day when the twin completed one year old, the Barra family came to the orphanage and were stunned by the beautiful twins and decided to adopt them whatever was the cost. Even so, they have a little girl named Sheila. They were in need of adopting those little ones, and after 11 years, the twins now are completely different. Let's go and see what happened to them. Laura and Maura Barwer, who are 11 years older, define beauty norms in the process. The twins from Sao Paulo, Brazil, were born with albinism, a genetic disorder that causes a lack of color in the skin and hair. When Vinicius Terranova, a Swiss photographer working in Brazil, saw a film of them, he was immediately drawn to their distinctive appearance. Terranova photographed them for his Flores Ruedas project, which he described as rare flowers. They're really gorgeous and talented, which is why I wanted to work with them, Terranova tells SBS. They're incredibly beautiful and talented, which is why I wanted to work with them. They have a strong sense of self-assurance, are clever, and perform exceptionally well. Terranova also photographed the twin sister, Sheila, who's 13 years old and does not have albinism, in order to highlight the sister's unique and different aesthetic. Sheila is as gorgeous as her sisters, and their contrast carries a natural, lyrical quality, which I'm glad the rest of the world was able to experience, adds the author. They're conscious of the ability to motivate and inspire others despite the fact that they're still very young. The twins, Laura and Mara, already realize the significance of the job they're doing and how their self-confidence has benefited a large number of people all over the world. Sheila's sisters have also helped to preach a message of love and tolerance for others who are different from themselves. Laura and Mara have already been recruited to model for major brands such as Nike and Bazaar Kids, and their Instagram account has gained more than 83,000 followers. The Bauer sisters, whose parents are originally from the West African country of Guinea-Bissau, say they like modeling and are proud of their albinism. We are extremely expressive and imaginative. We appreciate it when our beauty is recognized for its individual characteristics. We also like reading the kind of comments left on our photographs, they add. We think albinism is attractive and we're proud of our hair, eye color, and skin tone. Growing up in such a unique environment has been wonderful. We like being distinct and are content with our individual beauty. Approximately every three months, Terranova takes images of the girls, many of which he posts on his personal Instagram account. With each performance, he has seen their talent and self-confidence improve, and he believes that all three sisters have a bright future ahead of them, both as fashion models and as role models. Even though they're already well-known as models, they anticipated that their role and impact on the globe would extend beyond the photographs as seen by their online initiatives. In a recent report, a website made a conversation about the twin and asked them about the albinism and how it affected their life and also who was that a portal to the world of the fame and the report came as following. Is it possible for you to tell us a little about yourselves and your background? Bar sisters are a group of women who live in the United States. Three of us are Brazilians reared in Sao Paulo by an immigrant mother, where the majority of our family still resides. Laura and Mara, on the other hand, were adopted from the country. Beginning at a very young age, our parents instilled in us an appreciation and respect for our African heritage by telling us incredible stories about our ancestors and other great black women who served as role models and mentors and helped us develop a positive self-image. How many of you can recall the first moment you became self-conscious about your appearance? 
The Bauer sisters are a group of women who live in the United States. We're all the same when it came to not caring about our appearance until we reached a certain age. As it happens to everyone, we became cognizant of our differences as soon as we realized how unusual and out of the ordinary our skin tone and hair texture were in comparison to mainstream beauty standards. Were there been occasions when you left unsure of yourself, what strategies did you use to overcome this? The Bauer sisters are a group of women who live in the United States. We've gotten a lot of attention in schools and on the streets, and that's nothing new. While we initially believed that society would never accept our unconventional appearance, we gradually gained confidence as we discovered that acceptance had to come from within ourselves first, and that other people's opinions should never define who we are at any point in our lives. However, while those steps were not straightforward, they had a cumulative, empowering effect over time, especially when combined with the recognition of significant persons in our history and culture who had inspired us for many years. What was the impact of living with albinism on your perception of beauty? We're frequently ridiculed with disparaging remarks about our skin tone, which made us feel uncomfortable, understanding that true beauty may be found in variation and in the individuality of each person has necessitated the development of self-acceptance. What do you think is the most common misperception concerning albinism? There are a lot of misunderstandings about albinism floating around, People frequently inspired as to whether we are not white albinos, and we're quick to stress that we are black females who have albinism. Along the most common misconceptions we encounter at school are questions about how we contracted albinism, whether or not it's safe to touch us. What impact has having a twin brother or sister had on your beauty? The Bauer sisters said that being identical twins implies that you and your sister are often mistaken for one another. We may have had some amusement playing different roles and confounding our friends, but we need to feel and stand out as individuals as resulted in the development of highly distinct and even contradictory personality traits. So how did you get started in the modeling industry? Well, after learning about us from a Brazilian group of black creatives known as MOOC, The three of us were invited to take part in a Nike short film devoted to Black History Month that was released in 2016. What does it mean to you to be a model and how do you define success? For us, modeling is all about establishing our individuality. The beauty of albino and black people is represented by us as models and individuals who have felt or continue to feel unrepresented by editorials, billboards, and television are also represented by us. In response to feedback about our friends and followers, we quickly discovered that our work and message has assisted many people, particularly children, in accepting and embracing their individuality, whatever it may be. And that has very much defined the most important aspect of being a role model for us in this generation. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.